guys I am back with an update and a new hairdo as you can see I just love this baby I know y'all didn't come here for that but I love this wig it's beautiful I've seen it online I watched YouTube tutorials um, this is my second time doing the purple hair thing I think it really compliments me um, I'm gonna curl this baby up I have big dreams for it uh, once again I know y'all don't care but huh, stay tuned if you do care stay tuned I'll be posting a video all about this beautiful unit um, as well as how it's gonna look after I give it these big beautiful curls that I'm dreaming of hopefully it works out for me but to get to the real deal the reason why most of you did click on this video is to give another update about the chemo. Okay, hands out the hair. Give another update about, well, chemo is in it, but about the breast cancer journey. Um, so, I did go see the oncologist yesterday that um, is in charge of the chemotherapy for me and the other drugs. Um, and we scheduled for me to begin chemo on tomorrow, which is Thursday. But lo and behold, what we found in the imaging is that when I got my biopsy done, they did not leave a clip um, in the tumor. So, as I said on my last video, I was thinking of leaning more towards the um, lumpectomy, um, which for sure you need a clip uh, a clip there in case this thing disappears which they're thinking most likely it will um, with the chemo and the progetta um, that it'll just disappear within this four and a half months of treatment so if I get a lumpectomy and there's no clip to tell where the tumor was then I mean where they wouldn't know where to where to cut tissue at they wouldn't have a clue of the area that they should cut the tissue from. Um, so lucky me, after that very painful biopsy, after being traumatized to the nth degree, now I have to go back and let someone fake, you know, do a, do a fake numbing, I would say, of the area. But you know what? I'm not going back to the same hospital for this one. Uh, fool me once, shame on you. But guess what? You ain't going to get a second chance to fool me again. I'm going to a different facility, and I will let them know the experience that I had during my biopsy with the um, numbing that did not take effect. And um, we'll go from there. Um, hopefully they're a little more... I wouldn't say experience because that was an older guy so I'm sure he had the experience but hopefully they're a little more um, I guess just careful and thoughtful of what you know this person that's getting stuff stuck inside their body of what will experience and feel because that was just that was utterly insane that whole biopsy thing um, but yeah so I have to go back through that let them insert a clip into the tumor once the clip is inserted, then um, I can go on and have my chemo and get this thing rolling. The other thing I need is an EKG, which is weird that this even happened this way because they were supposed to schedule my EKG for today, which is a Wednesday, and I was going to start chemo tomorrow. Um, but lo and behold, I get the reminder call from the facility last night, and they're like, your EKG is scheduled for Thursday. I'm like, what? No, I'm supposed to be starting chemo on Thursday. And the uh, appointment for the EKG was like at 1130. And my chemo was due to start at 8 a.m. So I'm just like, what is going on? But you know what? I realized that you have to calm yourself down. You got to calm it down. Things don't go the way that you planned or the way that you thought they were going to go. Maybe someone else told you. Maybe the way someone else planned. It doesn't go that way. And you just got to chill out. 
So that's really what I'm going through this morning. I'm just chilling. I'm mellowing out. I'm going to let them call me back. Let me know what it is um, with the clip placement. What appointment did they get for that? I was really anxious to start chemo now. Like, I would have started chemo two weeks ago if I could have. Because I'm just so ready. I'm ready for this to be over, if you know what I mean. So, whew. And another thing. So when I saw him yesterday, the oncologist, I, on my last video, I had posed the question, if I'm placed on endocrine medication for 10 years, what happens when that normalcy is stripped from my body? You know, in that 10th year, that 11th year, what is expected to happen? And what he told me, um, so once again, that name of that drug is tamoxifen. And what he told me is that basically the older I get, like the, I guess the less the body creates estrogen, um, as we all know, we've heard of like menopause and things like that. I won't be menopausal at, um, in 10 years, I'll be, you know, still premenopausal. Um, but he just said, as you age, those hormones do level off. So I guess this drug will like help me regulate these heart hormones for a good 10 years. And, um, then by the time I'm taken off of it, my body should have kind of like decreased the, um, the, this estrogen production on its own. Um, so I guess that's the whole thought behind that. So I'm glad he answered that because I was really kind of just like wondering what would be the point of even starting a drug if once you're taken off of it, like, you know, if it's not a lifelong drug and you're taken off of it and it wreaks havoc, that's what I was thinking. But his explanation made a lot of sense. Um, so that's honestly all I have for y'all today. I just came to show off my new do. I mean, ain't used to nothing. No, I'm, <laughs> I'm joking. Man, you know how, y'all know how it feels with a new do. That's what I came here to do. Show that off. Talk about these, um, you know, minor setbacks with scheduling. Um, and everybody, keep y'all fingers crossed for me that chemo begins and that I handle this like a champ, which is, what I plan to, but we just spoke about how your plans don't always pull off as you wish. So, but uh, keep me in your thoughts and prayers and I'll be back. Most likely the very next video will be of this beautiful unit. I don't know. The It's, it's growing on me. It's growing on me with it being just, you know, out and kind of fluffy. Um, but I did have dreams of putting these curls in. So I don't know when I'll get the curls in. But when I do, you guys will be the first to know. I don't know why I'm acting so silly today. <laughs> Bye.